guys <coughs> Guys, listen up. This is the video that we have all been waiting for. Me especially. Here we go. This has been so long awaited for my personal self and I am beyond excited to be filming this today. So, last night I got a little package in the mail and I almost stopped everything that I was doing to film this but I was looking like a hot mess and it was like five o'clock at night so I had to take everything in me and wait for today to film this video and this is the package that i am referring to so i also have my pumpkin cream cold brew today to set the mood if you guys are new to my channel um then you don't know that i might as well start a second channel solely for the purpose of candle hauls and candle review videos which is kind of sad but these candles today are different than all the candles that i've ever reviewed before um, and this is going to be an unboxing video, review, and first impressions video, testing video for the Jackie Ina Forever Mood Candle Collection first launch line. If you don't know who Jackie Ina is, then you might not be watching this video. But also, if you don't know who she is, you might want to look her up because she's everything. So, Jackie Ina is a beauty influencer, but she really is so much more. And she started her own brand called Forever Mood. And it is sort of like a lifestyle brand. It's primarily candles, but she also launched... Um, I know silk pillowcases and some other accessories during her launch, but today I'm going to be showing you guys all four candles from her first launch. Fun fact, I actually met Jackie in 2018, in November of 2018, at the Teen Vogue Summit, and I got to ask her and Gigi Gorgeous a question. I told her that she made me fall in love with kombucha and how much of an inspiration she was, but I also asked her like questions about um, how to be more confident in my YouTube channel and how to grow and um, just not worry about what other people think and she gave me some really good advice and also at that time I had like right at a thousand subscribers so it's just so cool to see what all she has done in her career and she is just I just love how funny she is and she's so authentic and she's so real and she genuinely is just like so hilarious in her videos and in like her Instagram stories and she's just so beautiful so also guys, I will admit I did do a thing. So she had a thing on her website where you could do a bundle for all four candles. But by the time I bought it, and I bought it, and I bought these in the pre-launch. Um, when I when I went to make my purchase, the bundle was sold out. So I just purchased all four candles separately. The candles we have today are Matcha Business, Left on Red, Cuffing Season, and Caked Up. So. Okay guys, already first impression is that the box smells good. I don't know which candle that is, but something is very potent. Is potent a good word? It's a good word. It's a good word whatever I'm smelling. It smells really good. The reason I kept this box sealed shut is because I wanted you guys to know like I have not sniffed these yet. This is going to be truly a very first impression. And just already from looking at the color scheme we have going, the packaging, um, I'm already in love. So how do we want to start? Like which one do we want to do? Okay, the one I'm most excited about I think is Caked Up just because I know that one's got like some vanilla stuff in it and that's, you know, my thing, especially like this time of year. Already first impression is that I'm smelling something. Um, so that is a great sign because that means they're really strong. And you know, Jackie like loves her pastels. She is like a light pink queen. So I just am getting really good vibes from this caked up candle. So we're gonna do close-ups of all the packaging. First off, like the packaging itself is like that soft material. Um, I'm trying to think of how to, to describe it. It's like kind of like a hard cover book or the books that have like that soft outer covering that I love. I love that feeling. I know that's so weird, but the packaging itself is like decor, you know what I'm saying? And so this one on <laughs> the back, it says uh, caked up. It's not even your birthday, but let them eat cake. Um, so I'll read the scent details after I um, open it, but it says it's pistachio cake frosting scented candle. <laughs> We're going to open it. You can already smell it. You can smell it in the box. Oh my gosh, okay. Candle itself, it is a very nice size candle. It's probably like, I don't know how many, it's 10 ounces, which is really good. And also, let's, before we even open it, um, you know gold's my favorite color, gold and then pink. So this is like perfect for my apartment whenever I move, wherever I move. You guys know the, you know the deal if you've been to my channel before. Um, forever mood caked up, okay. Okay, 
I think this one's gonna be my favorite even though this is the first one that I'm smelling. Okay. Mm. I'm trying to think of where this one takes me. It is my birthday and it is like a family gathering and I'm cozy in my house and my birthday is actually in December. And this smells like December because there's Christmas decor out. Santa's cookies are already made, but it is also my birthday party. And it's just close family and friends, like I said, at my house. And we are all wearing sweaters. <sighs> that smells so luscious, so luxurious. It smells like, I smell like a, a hint of like almond, almondy vanilla. Maybe that's the pistachio. Um, so the scent details are pistachio almond cream. That's where I'm getting the almond cream pineapple and then that's those are the top scents the heart scents are honey i smell kind of a bit of honey jasmine and coconut which i love that and the base scents are vanilla bean and musk this burns up to 65 hours that is a long time you guys know like most candles burn like between 12 and 24 hours 65 hours okay we love this one. We love everything about it. My mom's gonna come home and she's gonna have four different smells going. And my mom's already really picky about like candle scents. So I will update you guys in another video if she likes them. Cause if my mom likes them, then they are like definitely for everybody because she's so picky. I know she'll like caked up cause she's kind of like me, but I like all scents, but I know she will like the vanilla e scent. And we're gonna do this one next, matcha business. Fun fact, I don't really like matcha. Um. I've had it one time and I did not love it. Oh, you can smell that one. I'm getting like a, not earthy scent, but like spa smelling scent. So this is the candle for this one, a beautiful light green. <laughs> okay, I just noticed on the bottom it says, warning, this candle is addicting. That's really funny. The details on this one, it says it's a matcha hazelnut latte scented candle. So that's where I was getting kind of like that, it was like a nutty earthy smell. Okay, that smells so good. That's different than I thought it was gonna smell, but like in a good way because I don't like matcha itself. I could not tell you what matcha itself smells like. If I had to describe this, I do smell like a nutty, earthy scent, but it's very like clean. Like this is one that you could leave burning. Um, it definitely kind of takes me to like spring, summertime, but at the same time, this is one that I would probably leave burning when I'm having visitors over because it's one of those that like, even if you are not a candle person, they will probably like this one because it's so like neutral to every kind of nose, if that makes sense. Okay, so the scents on this one, okay, the top scent details, hazelnut coffee, almond milk. You do get that hint of almond. It's kind of like nutty and honey. The heart is coffee and lavender. That's what I'm smelling. It kind of smells like a spa. Um, it smells like you're like at a resort, kind of, you know what I'm saying? And the base is vanilla. I feel like if you are skeptical of any candles, like if you don't like super sweet scents, if you don't like super like uh, musky scents, I feel like you will love this one because it's so neutral. Caked Up is still my favorite, like still at the top right now, but I feel like this is like a solid candle because it kind of just is a, like a little bit of combination of everything you like like you have the sweetness from vanilla but you also have that coffee and when you think coffee it does not smell like coffee at all it, like when i hear that coffee is a scent of a candle i don't like that like i love coffee i love coffee but i don't really like the smell of it in my house that just smells beautiful i don't know what else to say okay we're gonna go on to left on red i'm really excited about this one um, this one says it's coconut caramel scented candle. First of all, you guys know I love any kind of beachy thing and I love any kind of sweet smelling thing. So, let's see. Oh, that's so good. Wait, let me take a moment. I think this one's my favorite so far. It smells like you're getting ready for a date and you're at the beach with your girlfriends, and I don't know if you guys noticed, like all kinds of videos that where I have to like compare something to a scent, I'm like, you're getting ready for a date, 
says the girl that doesn't go on dates. I love how it says this candle is addicting on the bottom. That's so funny. You definitely smell the coconut and you definitely smell um, like the sweetness. Like it's like a sweet coconut scent. I love this one. Okay. It says worried about who? Worried about you on the back. That's funny. Wait, what did the matcha business one say? It said she's in his DMs. You're in your she's in his DMs. You're his hot tea. Y'all like to say <laughs> left on red. The top scent is tropical fruit. You definitely get that. But not in like an obnoxious, like citrusy way, like in a just like a it feels like you I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. The heart is coconut and coconut milk, and the base is caramel. So this one's like so simple because it is a combination of like my favorite scents. I don't like the taste of caramel, but I love the smell of caramel. I know that's like a weird fun fact. I love this one. This one just, mm, I don't know. That one's amazing. Okay, last but not least, we are so excited about this one because I think they said that this one was like the top selling one and this is cuffing season. This one, it says grab a boo and set the mood. So this one's like a pretty like yellow pastel color. Um, we are very excited. Okay, the box already again like all of these boxes smell good it's a close-up of the candle oh she did it with this one this one smells it's like okay you have like feminine scents which are more on the sweet side and then you have like more masculine scents but at the same time this is like a beautiful masculine smell. It's like I've never smelt something like this before. When describing this one, this is not like that mahogany teakwood smell that you're probably thinking of when you think of a masculine candle. This is like something that all girls will love and all guys will love. If you're like wanting to get a candle for your man um, and he's like wanting a candle for some reason, this is it. Plus, it's his cuffing season, so just so like grown and like delicious but like masculine but like not too florally but like kind of got like a beachy vibe in there but like really professional but like everything okay it says the scent details the top is fresh ozone I don't know what that is salty lemon mineral citrus when you're thinking lemon, don't think you're getting like a clean kitchen lemon smelling candle. This is like, I do get the citrusy vibe, um, but I feel like the lemon is kind of just like a little clean. Um, the heart of it is iris, violet, and jasmine. You do kind of get that. Like, it's just like a clean, natural, but like strong, but like not overbearing scent. You know what I'm saying? So don't think it's like you're gonna get it and smell nothing. It just smells so good. Um, and the base notes are Douglas fir, rainforest, moss, and white cedar. I think why I like this one so much is because you guys know I love any kind of like Christmas tree smelling smells. This definitely is not a Christmas tree scent, but it smells kind of like foresty. So that's where you get like that cedar that it was talking about. But it also smells kind of like light because of the citrusy hint to it. But this one's so neutral and I feel like, oh my gosh, I don't even know. So caked up reminds me of, I would like this in my bedroom, but also like my kitchen. Matcha business, I would leave this like in my front entryway of my house. But then also maybe like my bathroom, you know, or like the guest bathroom, like a hallway bathroom. Left on red. Left on red could go straight up by my bathtub and it would just give you like the most soothing bath ever. And then also like in your bedroom. But like all would, I would put all of these in my bedroom. And then also this one could even make it into the kitchen. And then cuffing season. This would definitely, oh my gosh. This would go in like the living room, I feel like. And like the dining room. And the thing is like, like, I'm putting my nose up to them because I'm trying to get all of the scent out. But even just with the candle, I got lipstick on it. Even with the candle, like, being right here, like I said, like, even just opening the box that have the boxes in them, you can smell the fragrance. Like, they're that strong. But none of these are the scents that, like, will give you a headache. But I feel like you could leave them out like this and you would still, like, get a whiff by them. And I feel like so many candles, you have to light them to get the smell, which I just think is 
amazing. So, I'm a very happy girl. I have no clue which one I'm going to like first. Um, and if you guys want to subscribe, I will definitely probably have one of these lit in like every vlog. I think you guys will not be disappointed if you get these. I think they're out of stock right now actually though. And I think she said on Twitter that she's going to be restocking in September. Um, so yeah, definitely these will make great gifts for the holiday season. Um, but thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. And thank you so much and stay blessed and have a great day. Bye!